I again was doing what I do, talking to people everywhere I see them at. Hey, have you voted? <laughs> Ms. Pearson? Yeah. Not everybody likes that I'm doing it. Olivia Pearson's mother led the county's NAACP. My mother sued the uh, city of Douglas to get more representation on the city council. After years of registration drives, Olivia became the first black woman to win election to the council. When I received the letter in 2016 from the Secretary of State signed by Brian Kemp. Kemp used his power as head of the state election board to have Olivia charged with the felony crime of interfering with voters. I could have served up to five years in prison. So it was very, very, very uh, frightening. It was very dis uh, depressing. I had to go and receive counseling to help me to uh, cope with it. Uh, it was horrendous. A jury quickly found her not guilty because, as it turned out, disabled voters had filled out the official forms requesting her help. They had the handcuffs around my back, you know, my hands to the back. I couldn't get into the car with them like that. I, I, was, I was in excruciating pain. The New York Times wrote that Olivia's case made Brian Kemp a pioneer of present-day voter suppression. The young lady that I was with at the time she told me, she said, Miss Olivia, I don't even want to vote. After all of this, I don't want to vote anymore. I don't want to do it. And I had to beg her and explain to her that that's what they're doing it for, is to cause people to be afraid to exercise the right to vote. <laughs> 